Hi, Mark here from Rock and Walls. Just wanted to share another pro tip. Uh, this tip is actually something I learned from Bill Noble. In, uh, he was a master uh, craftsman examiner from Great Britain. And he shared this to me up at the uh, Canada Stoneworks uh, Festival event 2012. Really cool technique. Basically, it's the illusion of a line. Now, what that means is, for example, I just put this together here. This is a, you know, illustrate a corner. A lot of times you might have a bull nose on a stone and what you can do is uh, take the tracer and the tracer is the really narrow guy on either side there and more or less what you're doing and I've already done it here you create an imaginary line so you can create your structure and kind of come back and just basically tap to get that line now also uh, what I'll do you know a lot of times when I have this if I just not need to kind of come back and clean things up you know, I kind of come in the sides also to kind of get that cleaner line. Now, this technique can be used also on the top of your edges of your stones. Um, over here, let's talk about this. Basically, we have this curve that I was doing. So I've done two things. With these cap stones, I've actually done two things. The one, I have this imaginary line here, but as I as I do my caps to try to keep this nice curve looking shape, you know, I come along and I'll basically just tap down to get that line. Also, the other thing that's really neat, just talking about caps while we're here with the tracer, you know, you have this imaginary line. Let me slide over here. You know, I'm trying to get the illusion that they're all the same height. Now, this one's actually taller, this one's lower. So, what I'll do is I'll just kind of come in and I'll just basically go like this all the way to get this knocked up and out. So, the front portion gives the illusion that it's lower. Now, I also do this on the sides to match the stones. So, all these stones are different heights, but by just coming in on the front, it gives the illusion that this is the same thickness. And then also, once I set a stone, I can come in on the sides and make sure I get the sides so they match the stone next to them. So it's just a very simple technique. Once again, the tracer, and uh, this can be used on other things, but it's great for corners. If you're ever at a uh, national park or a place where there's a monument, take a look at some of those monuments. You really can see it specifically on a lot of the structures that are made out of granite. They're notorious for having bull noses, parts that stick out, and you'll see those lines. It's a really neat technique. Thank you, and if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please support me.